Thanks, thanks, Amy. Welcome everyone to Ask Me Anything session. So this came out uh, after this December center's announcement, and then there was, I mean, in the context of OpenStack speaking specifically, it came out on the OpenStack TC call, uh, sorry, meeting meeting. And after clarifying what the stream is, uh, we offered to hold this session so people can ask anything. I will just give a short context. So on the Meet chat, you have a link to the Etherpad with some context links. So first, uh, this CentOS announcement, it says uh, the classic CentOS stream 8 will not be getting updates, so it will not be gone out of the planet. It will just not get updates in the regular build cycle, which was every RHEL minor release. We get a bump, bump, bunch of updates into the CentOS repository. Uh, instead, we already have this CentOS stream for a year since 8 started, which is more continuous delivery. So that means next minor update is ready to be released in, into that repository. It does not mean it is really rolling. It still needs to follow real processes and everything will get to that. And that's the second link explaining what is aspiration. So if you look at that uh, blog, uh, I don't know, Amy, if you can share it or Alfredo, maybe you can just click on that link to have it on the screen of the blog sent to a stream is continuous delivery from. Good uh, idea on the sharing. Screen sharing is, okay. yeah, screen sharing is not working for me. Maybe. So this blog from Steph, who is from RHEL Engineering, responsible for RHEL CI, is explaining what is the, eventually the plan to be clear. CentOS stream is still work in progress. What we have now is CentOS 8 stream, which is following what will become next minor release. So currently that's future RHEL 8.4 content in that repository. Bigger plans are coming with the next RHEL major release 9. We only since 8 release, so Racket announced publicly we will release every three years. So our development model until now was work basically from Fedora Rawhide at that time, create Alpha. So that was all internally, nothing was visible. At that point, Alpha was going only to partners and uh, not public, only RHEL beta was com is single shot basically without updates and then we had typically six months until GA was released and that was again still internal only we could not use it for example OpenStack public CI systems at that time so there's now change extreme will be between stream branch then it will become rel so right now in the nine streams still there are missing pieces like this announced GitLab disk kit, which will be hosting actually sent a stream in the future and where development will happen. So real engineering will work directly on those branches. So that's explained in that block. And again, what is de facto currently available? If you look at the composers, all the composers since August and it's really rolling. So updates are created at most weekly or roughly so. And this component- Alan, really quick, people, um, and it's happening for me too. You're breaking up a little bit. Can you turn off your video and maybe that'll help your stream? Okay, let me try that. Now we lost it. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I can, can you hear me now? And did, did you- <laughs> It's still a little broken up, but I think it's better. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we have kids. Oh, when you muted Zoom bandwidth. Double muted. <laughs> so 
Looks like. All you need is oil. Okay, let me see. Is this here better? Yes, that's better. Okay, I moved within the house. Wi Fi coverage is not great. Okay, so if you can please click on that center stream is continuous delivery link. And uh, ju just to show the diagram, what is intention here? Uh, it's like it's not showing. Yeah, it's on. I still see it pad. Yeah, hang on a second. I need to change it to the window, not a tab, I guess. Ah, uh, OK. I'll we'll just go with the entire screen. screen. All right, so if you scroll down, there is a nice diagram showing the workflow for, oh, yeah, this one. So yeah, normal development is Fedora at one point, branches, and then we have center stream and rel running in parallel. So this phase in development is still a work in progress. So that's in the future when we will have updates, eight branches, what we have now, nine is going to be started from Fedora 34 and uh, in, in next month or so. So that's the future aspirational, let's say. So again, what we have now, if you go to those composes centers.org, you will see all the composes. So all the updates that you would see. So centers stream is released as a complete repository update not single updates, not, not like Fedora. For example, Fedora has a, a body updates where single packages can get updated. So that this is not going to happen with center stream. So we will get compose. Compose will go to the CI gating and the promise from the rel engineering is it will not be pushed to the CentOS repository, center stream repository until it passes both rel CI and CentOS. CI. So public center CI is also some some work in progress. What we have now that was available with centers classic is uh, T functional a test suite that centers team was running on each compose internally. Uh, results were visible to centers QE as far as I know, and when that passes, it was pushed to the to the mirrors. The same will happen with center stream. And another option that is uh, not sure if it is visible here, but since it is inheriting from Fedora, Fedora also has Fedora CI testing infrastructure, which includes uh, test definitions inside of the disk git repositories, and all those eventually will be executed in center stream on center stream composers as well. Okay, so that's how development process will go. So back to the last time. So what is happening now? Right now with the CentOS next major version is in Fedora. So there is separate ELN, like Enterprise Linux Next, uh, in progress. So the, that's the content which will show up. It's a subset of Fedora Rawhide. And this is what is being imported to a uh, new rel version and eventually in the center's nine stream. So that's what will be coming up in the next few months. OK, so that's for the context. So let's get started with questions. So if anyone wants to ask a question here, or oh, we already have something on Peterpad. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, so uh, RDO specifically plans, so that was all sent to us. So RDO plans is explained also in the blog, which I, I'm not sure if I linked. OK, I put the link to the post by Alfredo, and there is a link to the blog on RDO site. So the first one on OpenStack Discuss includes a blog to uh, on, on, on the RDO project. 
site explaining. So we plan to move all the releases starting with master. So let me see. The question here is, how do we build release RTO be done to ensure correct one-to-one -one build requirements compatibility? Center stream has new Python library against that. Uh, so ask that question. Can you maybe please explain more? So new, yeah. Yeah, so maybe I can give some background. Um, mm -hmm. If, sure. for example, you were a large uh, research site running RDO and CentOS, then mm -hmm. how will we ensure that what's dynamically coming from stream and dynamically coming from RDO are consistent and um, compatible for then immediate deployment onto a large cloud? Right. So, yes, dependencies, mostly we control, right? So we would... Most of the, let's say, important Python dependencies are actually in the OpenStack repository. If it is something coming from, from, the, from the rel, yes, it could happen, it gets updated. And we would ensure in the test that it is compatible. And in some cases, it will be required to have a newer version. So what, what we potentially could see is breakage if something is updated in, in CentOS stream. And we uh, we need to make some changes in the OpenStack, let's say, code. So our idea is to insert so in this public center CI gating tests, which would then detect this situation earlier. So the question, I guess, that you might be asking if you have older, I don't know, center stream snapshot, let's say, with older library, if that would be safe to deploy. If you are staying on some snapshot of stream, if that's the idea, then you, you would need to retest again with your combination, if I understand. So, so, pos so possibly another question that ties on to the, I think what Tim's trying to ask is, mm -hmm. um, virtualization has taken over the world in many ways, shapes, and forms, especially with CI testing. Will these images, will these artifacts actually be tested on real bare metal in part of that gating process. And the reason I specifically ask this is because uh, a lot of hardware requires uh, binary firmware images to for the drivers mm -hmm. to load. And we have found CentOS Stream uh, by default doesn't ship <laughs> those uh, binary artifacts. So we've had to include them. Mm -hmm. So that, that th those sorts of things disappearing or changing suddenly could be ripple very horribly down the chain unless we explicitly are doing testing on in something that's more realistic like physical hardware. Yeah, yeah. So we do have some plans to add uh, specifically in RDO capability to, to test on, on bare metal. We are working on that, especially with the cases like, for example, OpenShift uh, on OpenStack. That, that's our main goal, but yeah. Since we will have this capability, we could add those tests and add CI into the pipeline, which includes bare metal. But yeah, that's a, that's a good, good point. That's, uh, test coverage is not 100%, and we need to propose the tests that, that will be gating. I, I, I think one of the things we probably also need to be careful of, and this is just a, a comment based on the experience the last couple of weeks, um, is there's a lot of confusion when someone goes to pull some of those artifact, artifacts down. And so if we could just scrub the mirrors and also make very clear in multiple different ways of what is has been tested, what has not been tested. Uh, because we actually had someone pull down a untested CentOS stream-based artifact and mm -hmm. it broke them for over a week because they were fighting to figure out what was wrong, and it was actually the firmware was missing. <laughs> well, what was uh, what was the actual issue? Uh, I did not understand that. Uh, uh, the firmware was the firmware was missing in the image. Oh, like yeah, firmware RPM package. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, so yeah, that says no, no CI is 100%. And if you care about the specific test case, and for example, specific for OpenStack RDO, our hope is that we can basically insert in those center stream tests the use cases we care about. It can be detected before it reaches the mirror. And of course, if somebody is really doing production to deployment with stream, I would guess they will need to have something like internal mirror and then have their own tests again in staging or somewhere before really just just doing YAM update in production is uh, never a good idea. Okay. Let's see. Uh, next question uh, from from Etherpad. Can anyone use Center Stream? Must they be legged customers? So anyone can use its anonymous repository. Uh, no need to be a customer. Uh, developer subscription. So that's rel. So there there was rel yeah, developer like, subscription like extension. Developer. Yeah, I, I get that. This is Phil Sweeney mm -hmm. from Red Hat Training. Um, the mm -hmm. That's my question. It, the thing is that, um, for example, over the weekend, I I, um, I read an article about Elastic and they're moving to the server side uh, model, um, you know, which pulls it back from open source in a certain way and blah, blah, blah. But unfortunately, in that article online, um, they talked about other you know, companies that were pulling back from open source. And unfortunately, CentOS got painted with the same brush. So there are times when you know I see stuff going on 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 up online that needs to be addressed, or that you know I recognize students that come into our courses have specific questions, and I recognize just that I didn't know how to say it, and I didn't want to you know start saying oh yeah it's free it's free if that's wrong. So the, my real question is is really you know whether everybody who was able to use CentOS the way they did before can still do so. And um, I see that from you know one of those links where the CentOS builds are, that my assumption is somebody can grab it from there and get a, you know, since the stream is ever changing, you can use that to stay on a certain version, right? And I think this answer says that, okay, everybody's got access to that. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. so it is the same, basically content delivery network. Uh, so. Vo uh, volunteer network of the CentOS mirrors, so they are carrying the same repository. So it's in, in parallel. So if you look at the mirror centos.org, there is CentOS 8, there is CentOS 8 stream. Ah, so stream. they're getting, they don't have to come to Red Hat per se to get the stream. They can get it, they get no. it from the mirrors. Yeah, yeah ah, exactly. The I same mirror centos. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's, it's the same. And for example, we are mirroring it also in the OpenStack. Uh, CI infrastructure, since all the CI tests, uh, OpenStack Infra are using local mirrors. So, yeah, yeah. It, it can be copied. You can do whatever you want with that. Phil, does, any, does, does this change in the CentOS model help us in any way with um, um, denying Oracle access to our source code? No, it does not change anything. So, it's still the same git centos.org. So, previously, what Red Hat was doing. And that was actually, must be said uh, openly, it's not really required by GPL license. So GPL license requires you to deliver source to the your customers. So if you are delivering binary, you need to deliver the source. That's what GPL copyleft requires. Yeah. But uh, Red Hat was always doing more than that, pushing all source RPMs to ftpredhead.com. What changed in 2014 with the uh, uh, CentOS, let's say, coming to Red Hat is that we are now using, instead of publishing source RPMs, files, we, uh, we I mean, RHEL, release engineering, is pushing sources to gitcentos.org. So that right. stays. And that's what any uh, other rebuilds can use. And that's what, for example, Rock Linux says that they will use. So they will go to gitcentos.org. They will do uh, Debranding, or, or they can actually use CentOS is doing debranding as the first step. So if you look at the commits history in the git centers.org, you will see first is debranding, removing graphic logos and stuff like that. 
So they can start with that and then just rebuild it on their systems. So that stays. That's not going away. It's still the same. It's just that CentOS stream will be a separate branch. Actually, now it is. So you can see C8 branch is CentOS Classic and C8S is CentOS stream content. And you can even compare what's the difference. So right now, as I said, CentOS 8 stream is only a few packages uh, getting updated for the next 8.4, which is not released yet. Right. So you're already getting that content there. Thank you. Okay. You have cleared the fog from my eyes. That was really very helpful. Yeah. Okay. We'll, next question is, will OpenStack CI also be changed to use CentOS stream? So that's already in progress. So we added, uh, I think, Im not all images. There is uh, support in DevStack and uh, other uh, few projects already wanted to move to, to that, I think. Was moving, I forgot. Uh, so no, not just Red Hat control project. So triple O will move and so on. Okay, next question on uh, Etherpad. Will RDO support specific versions of RHEL? So we, uh, if once we move to center stream, we will follow the stream, right? So we will try to keep that working. And if something breaks, we will fix that. And hopefully, what I said, we want to even get into the center stream pipeline, release pipeline, and get our test use cases working there. And if it breaks, get it even before it is published to center stream. Uh, so specific versions of RHEL. Uh, so if you mean major versions, OK, maybe that's about major versions. So yeah, we, we will also follow. So right now, it is 8, so we have. I don't know what's the latest. I think it's train, right, Alfredo, that we still have on rail seven. Uh, we have it both on rail seven and eight. So we'll probably continue with that. So one of the releases will stay on eight while we move to, to nine. Last one for rail seven or central seven was was train. All newer mm -hmm. impacts in train are sent to is rail eight. In fact, uh, yes, uh, well, I guess this is about major because we never supported minor releases for RHEL 8 or CentOS. So, yeah. Oh, yes. That's also a good Nothing point. Changed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so with CentOS Classic, you actually could not stay on the minor release. Actually, if you look at the CentOS naming explicitly, minor was not. But yeah, people were still saying 8.3, 8.2. But actually, CentOS was just, a, I think, year and month something like that. So it was, in a way, already rolling. It, it would be just rolling all at once in this minor point re GA releases. So for example, 8.3, we got, I don't know, what, hundreds of packages updated at the same time. And of course, even that broke us in some cases. So what stream is getting us, let's say, those updates more, more uh, spread over time so we can catch it vicious earlier. Alan, I think part of the question being asked is if someone does switch to RHEL, will RDO be supported? So if someone go ahead, <laughs> goes ahead and gets that free version of 8.3 because they're scientific or through the developer channels, will, RHEL, will RDO work <laughs> on it? Yeah. So we will need to add testing. So um, unless it is tested, it is broken, right? So that's one of the OpenStack premises. So what I think we could do is test with specific versions if needed, but that will need to be internally. So RHEL, even those subscriptions that are announced yesterday, they are developer cases. There is a unlimited internal development case, but that's only for commercial deals, if I understood correctly. So it's not usable for open source projects. What we can do internally in Red Hat run third party CI and then report results. Uh, but yeah, uh, what we will ensure publicly is to run with the latest stream. And that might include updates which are not available in RHEL previous minor release. So in that case, it will not work on, on previous minor release. But that should happen only if, I don't know, we explicitly do changes which break backward compatibility. 
So again, we would need to test that in, in order to be sure it works. But openly, we will test what is available in stream. OK, let me see. Next question is there, will you be testing Guardian beta releases of center stream when 9 is available? Yes, that, that's what we are eagerly waiting for that stream actually starts. As I said, CentOS 9 stream will be created. Uh, the plan is uh, after alpha, so that, that is, is in the coming months. I, I cannot say specific schedule yet, uh, but it is coming. So if you look at that diagram again from Steph, you can see 34, Fedora 34 is the base, and Fedora 34 freeze is coming in uh, February, March. So that, that's the time frame when you can expect, uh, when we can expect stream will start in the next few months. And as soon as it is available, we will again run uh, this current release in parallel in both. So eight will stay, we will add nine stream. Because we do have also some features which depend on the availability of the next release. And this will be actually not even beta, it will be before, so starting with alpha in this case. Okay, so that's all questions on interprets. Does anyone have online question? Uh, or Let's go ahead and get the raise hand feature so we can tell who's looking to ask a question better. Oh yeah, I never used that. Where do you do that? Uh, where is that? In hey, Tim Bell. Sorry, I just have one other question, which is for the RDO components, such as um, Puppet, for example, um, will these also be following stream um, to to keep up to date for those parts too? Yeah, th th that's a plan. So we will keep those updated and working on stream latest. Uh, if you're concerned about, again, what we discussed earlier about the REL compatibility, previous REL minor release, you would need to add explicit testing for that. So we cannot be sure it, if it works, that, that, that if it is not tested. But yeah, intention is to make it work with stream. And uh, assuming we can retest that specific cases with the uh, minor releases. Again, that, that would need to be kind of third-party CI running internally in Red Hat system reporting upstream. Tim, did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. And sorry for all the questions, but uh, it's a topic that's of great concern to us at the moment. Yeah, yeah I understand that. Yeah, so again, within within the my major release that there is some rel abi compatibility promise again formally abi does not cover 100 percent of rel it's specific kernel calls it's uh, maybe specific libraries but that's it so again if it is breaking it 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 could break right it's not 100 percent of os but hope is that uh, with enough let's say pre-publishing pre testing, we can catch those issues before it is released to center stream repository. At least that, that's opportunity that we have now that it is developed in public. Anyone else have a question? Or any, any question on the, so Alfredo is here on the, on the blog that he posted about, about RDO plans. I think we, we have it now. Yeah, we have it now in the interpad, the one, RDO plan. Yeah, I added it. Yeah, thanks.
well, I, I just like to share that uh, we have a couple of minutes just to the the most well we are working already moving current master repos for master which are is Wallaby to to CentOS eight stream is work in progress so and we expect that for Wallaby GA we will only release RDO on for for a stream we will build on a stream test and we will ship it only for CentOS eight stream. So this links to the a question before about about CI OpenStack CI. So their their recommendation is to move uh, OpenStack CI jobs to CentOS Stream during this Wallaby release. Okay, that's the recommendation. It's a decision of each individual project, but our recommendation is to move to move at in Wallaby timeframe into CentOS Stream. Okay, so I think that's. From the plan in short term, I think that's the most important one. We are open to any question, not only now, but at any time in mailing list or whatever, if you need any help from our side. Maybe <clears throat> some people here are not familiar with uh, how do we build RDO distributions. So it is mentioned here, so we have this trunk repositories which are built continuously after each commit is done in the OpenStack project. It creates a package, it's a temporary repository, then this is picked up by uh, what we call promotion pipelines, and it runs CI mostly. Most of the part is based on, on full triple O deployment tooling we develop, but there are also Puppet and uh, other tests separately. So after that, all those tests are done, we declare that as a past CI or current CI, I forgot, yeah, current triple O, whatever, symlink. So that's, if you are using that trunk, you, you should be confident that this content did pass at least some test coverage at that point. And then uh, towards the end of the release, we start bootstrapping it in the CentOS SIG, Cloud SIG repositories. Uh, I mean, build roots in, in CBS Koji. So that's then rebuilt again with official, let's say, tagged source tarballs. And then it is rebuilt eventually with the GA tarballs, push that to CentOS, also mirror CentOS network. And th that's what Alfredo is saying. So this CentOS trunk, uh, uh, sorry, RDO trunk will move first and then the the release of this final GA builds for for Wallaby will be in the CBS Koji build routes based on CentOS 8 stream. Although to be honest, I think we were already running it with the current builds built in, let's say CentOS Classic build routes, and since that's mostly uh, no Arch Python, it just worked on CentOS 8 stream as well. So it's not yeah, we we have been testing. Current, in fact, we are testing Victoria right now on CentOS Stream for I think four months or something like that. So with just let's say minor issues, you know, related more with tooling than with anything else. But yeah, yeah. I mean, there is as you explained before, uh, Red Hat has some commitment to stable APIs through the through a major release. So we don't need. To, we never had to rebuild packages between minor releases inside um, the same major release. So we expect, and we are in fact having exactly the same expected results with CentOS Stream. One thing I do want to add here is if anyone's interested in the CentOS Cloud SIG, we are going to have the first meeting again we're trying to revitalize the group next thursday at 1500 utc in the centos meeting room so we can continue these types of conversations there as well as cloud in general that, that's on the free, free node irc room yes. right
other questions? Any comments anybody wants to make? We've got 10 minutes, I believe. Okay, we have one comment in the... Trying to only build against into a stream, no longer again. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, we need to update the website. That's true. Yeah, so basically up, 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 bleh. update the sentence where we say it works on CentOS Fedora and Red Hat, which technically it still would, but we're not testing against them. Yeah, but Fedora is not for a long time. Yeah, okay. basically, it's, we had one, one, let's say, version of Fedora for the last cycle when this... Uh, CentOS 8 was not available, so we did some testing with Fedora 28 at that time. Okay, that we can start not... that in next week's regular meeting. Yeah. And get that updated. Just yeah. Thank, thanks for the point. Anything else? Okay, I think that's it then. I want to thank Alan for leading this. Um, a lot of good questions were asked. I hope everyone got the answers they were looking for. If not, please reach out to us, either on IRC email or grab us wherever, and we'll be more than happy to answer any further questions or find the answers for you. I'm going to stop sharing and then stop the recording. <laughs>